Hey there, I'm Odell, the host, and creator of Assassin Studio and Simply Sundays. Today's Simply Sundays, will be about Mr. Rodney Reed. This is an important and extremely serious topic. Although my channel is based off of animated, novels and games, this is something that I can't afford not to speak on. This is the picture of the man that is said to be executed in 10 days, for a crime that evidence proves, he didn't commit. Allow me to give you a little background information. Stacy Stites, 19 years old, worked in retail of some sort, was due at work by 3.30 a.m. Stites was engaged and shared an apartment with Jimmy Final, that was a police officer with Bastrop Rope County Sheriff's Office. We'll come back to Final, in detail in a little. On April 23, 1996 Stites allegedly left the apartment at 3 in the morning, but never showed up for work. Fennel stated he was asleep when she left out, Stites allegedly took Fennel's pickup, which was found in the parking lot of a high school. Her body on the other hand was found miles away, on a country road. With a belt used to strangle her a few feet away, the belt from my knowledge was never tested for epithelials. Now this is where things start to get hairy. This is what I've learned. When Stites was found, she was miles away from the pickup lying on her back, arms above her head, partially clothed, and marks on her neck. The marks on Stites neck were a clear indication that she was strangled. A pathologist states that when Stites was murdered, she was left slumped forward, with one arm stretched out for at least four hours before her body was moved. They were able to come to this conclusion, because when lividity sets in, the blood forces its way down to the lowest point of the body, causing dark bruising. The thing is, this bruising wasn't on Stite's back, it was on the front of her. In the beginning of the investigation, guess who was a suspect? The fiancé, Jimmy Fennell. It's not surprising that he's a suspect, because in murder cases, the first people they look at are spouses, close family and friends. But this case is different, a lot different. Before DNA, they were focused on Fennell, but the DNA was tested against Reed which was a match. When questioned, Reed at first stated he didn't know Stites, but then admitted to having an affair with her. Which is how his DNA was on, or in, the victim. During Reed's trial, some of the witnesses were lined up to testify, knowing about the affair between the two. But were never called on, because they were related to Reed in one way or another. Per Fox 7 Austin, Heather Stobbs, the cousin of Stacy Stites, a Bastrop Rope County woman murdered more than two decades ago, is speaking out. She believes the wrong man sits on death row for the crime. Rodney Reed is set to die for the murder in 10 days, but Stobbs believes her cousin's ex-fiancé Jimmy Fennell is the real killer. Yes, I don't have any doubt in my mind, Stobbs replied when asked if she thought Fennell was guilty of the crime. There is really nothing that could convince me that Jimmy Fennell didn't do this. One of the witnesses that was called on during Reed's trial, couldn't remember that her name was Stacy and referred to her as Stephanie. Therefore her testimony, wasn't credible, and neither was Snow's. But we'll discuss him, a little later. There were a few more witnesses, at least two stated that Fennell knew about the affair between Reed and Stites, and threatened Reed. Charles Wayne Fletcher a deputy in the same sheriff office that Fennell worked in recalls a situation with Fennell. Fletcher states that Fennell stated that he thinks Stacy was fucking a nigger. But this isn't the end of the madness with Fennell. Fellow officers made account of Fennell's behavior before and after Stites murder, and stated they were disturbed by his behavior. None of this information was available to the defense before Reed's trial. Now, let me give you a quick timeline of ex-police officer Jimmy Fennell. There is evidence about Fennell's racial hostility and his tendency for violence. A few months before Stites' murder, Fennell and another officer chased down Mario Murillo, beat him up, and pointed a gun to his head. Then there was Pam Duncan, Fennell and Duncan dated three months after Stites' murder. The time frame of when he started dating isn't the issue, everyone heals differently. The time frame is concerning because of his actions, when Duncan couldn't take his jealous, possessive behavior. Duncan tried to break off their relationship, Fennell stopped and threatened her. In 2008, Fennell pled guilty to kidnapping and improper sexual contact with another victim, Connie Lear. 
Lear was in Fennel's custody, at gunpoint, Fennel raped her against the rear of his cruiser. Fast track to 2014, Lear stated, and I quote. When he got done, he told me that if I told anybody, if he went to prison, when he got out, he would hunt me down, he would use his gun, and he would kill me. Fennel was sentenced to 10 years. In 2010, Fennel needed protection while in prison. He confronted Arthur Snow Jr. in the wreck yard and confessed to the murder of Stites in the attempts to win the trust of the Aryan Brotherhood. Snow had been serving a sentence for forgery at a DeWitt County, Texas, prison in 2010 when he made a deal with Fennel, who'd sought protection from other inmates, the document states. Snow was then a member of the Aryan Brotherhood gang, and confirmed that Fennel said, I had to kill my nigger loving fiancé. Here's the problem, with all of the evidence proving Rodney Reed's innocence, the state of Texas is not willing to stay his execution. For another trial to review the evidence in its entirety. In 10 days, Mr. Reed may lose his life for a crime he didn't commit. They had this man on death row for decades. Why not be sure that this man is guilty before taking his life? What's a few more months, just to be sure? It just seems as if they are covering for themselves, covering their asses. Knowing they didn't get justice for Stites, and robbed a man of two decades of living, growing, and loving. They were wrong when they convicted him, and they knew it. But I feel they didn't want to arrest one of their own in a murder charge. Reed, was found guilty by an all-white jury in Texas. Do you see the issue here? Now, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals did stay Reed's execution back in 2015. But, on June 26, they denied his case. There is no way you can review this case and not see the holes in it, it's concerning. The setting of Mr. Reed's execution date at this point in his legal proceedings is both unusual and inappropriate, Ben Jeff said in a statement. The Bastarope County District Attorney has not provided any explanation for why he would seek to interfere with Mr. Reed's ordinary right to federal review of his substantial constitutional claims and his evidence of innocence. Then, this happened. Bastarope County Criminal District Attorney Brian Gortz said, The state has petitioned the Court of Criminal Appeals to deny the most recent Reed motions because they are improper and without merit, according to a statement released to KXN on July 22. But Fennel bragged about killing his fiancée because she had cheated on him with a black man. And he walks free. Please be a part of something that's greater than yourself, contact the elected officials below and voice your opinion. Demand that they stay Reed's execution and set a new trial date for the new evidence. In 10 days, a man could lose his life because of a possible cover-up. There is no reason not to want to do the right thing. The evidence proves that Mr. Reed is innocent, I would love to know what's holding them up on stopping this execution. Please share, sign the petition that's included in the description, and most of all, let's hold the state of Texas accountable for their wrongdoings. I truly appreciate you all, thank you for your support on my channel as well as in this matter. The reason this is important to me, is because as a brown woman, I know the injustices we face. And no matter how big or small the number of my supporters, I will always speak on what's right. Because at any point, any brown person can be the next hashtag. If you're a YouTuber, please make a video, and hashtag free Rodney Reed. I'm calling out big creators and small. An innocent man's life is on the line with 10 days to live. His execution is set for November 20, 2019. If you don't share my message, share someone else's, it's not about subscribers, likes or comments. It's someone's life at stake here, it could be any of us. White, black, it doesn't matter. A life is a life, and no innocent person should be murdered. For a murder that evidence shows they didn't commit, Thank you for viewing and I hope you join the 10 day fight for Mr. Reed's life. Remember, be yourself, because no one is as unique as you. Much love.